Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 1121, where we have 35 moves to clear out 30 jelly. Most of the jelly is here, but we've got three here, and it's really tough to work in this, um, to get through these popcorn. We have to strike it three times, and then there's jelly underneath. Plus, before that, we have to try to battle against the chocolate that's covered in licorice. I see I can make a stripe, but I don't think that's going to be sufficient for this board. I need probably a wrapped candy down there. So what I need to do is keep going in and out of this. I don't lose any lives by doing this. I started with one. I'll stick with one. Um, and I'll wait until I get a much better setup. I could try for... I mean, this is a little bit better. I could try for this. I get a stripe. But I could also take out the red and concentrate things down. I might get an, another orange here. I'm going to try for it, but I'm not going to expect a lot. So I get this other stripe. But maybe, just maybe, I can get a blue this way. There's a possibility. The possibility, oops, hello. I don't want to mess this up. The possibility exists to get a color bomb. There we go. All right, and then if I could set that with a raft, especially if I could get everything down here. Now we also have these ticking time bombs. I don't worry too much about those. I tend to be able to take them out pretty easily. How do I get rid of all of this chocolate? Okay, I've got so much aimed over here, and this is all going to explode. And if it doesn't, I'm just going to waste my color bomb I worked on. So let's just sacrifice everything and see what kind of damage we can get done here. That actually worked out better than I expected it to. Alright, and then this color bomb can hopefully help me to get more concentration to get more specials. I don't even have to take out this chocolate if I don't want to because uh, there's no jelly under here. It's just a bit in the way. I think I will. Well, now let's do this. I mean, maybe I could get this matched. Mm, I don't think so. But that helped with this. I'm going to slide this over. Normally I go for the one that's the closest to being open, but if I could open these both at the same time, that would be kind of spectacular. Uh, because I could use them together. I can make this stripe here. I don't think I can get a blue up here. So let's try it and see what happens. I've got a lot of red. There we go. The red works together. And this blue. And then I'll do this. And I think I can get these open at the same time. Oh, so close. So close. Okay, so I'm going to take out all blue. It's going to open this up and it's going to concentrate those colors down, giving me a better shot at matching things up and making specials. Now I can take out all red from the board so I get rid of this and some of these things here. And I'm looking to, there we go, set something up here. So I'm going to take out a layer of everything. Only the things that are double thick will remain on this board. And then I'll just have to play cleanup with my three remaining moves. I think I got it. All right, so that's how I beat this level. This was, however, my seventh playthrough for recording purposes. It's not an easy one. Even when I started with pretty good setups, I sometimes couldn't make it. If you'd like to see more videos, you can subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.